Welcome back to the John Madden Sales video series. As requested, I'm going to do a demonstration on the Madden method of cleaning tack. Here at John Madden Sales, we clean all of the tack after all the riding is done for the day, saddles and bridles, and this gives us all an opportunity to inspect the tack, make sure the leather's in working order, make sure there's no stitching that needs to be replaced, and it also prolongs the life of our equipment. Okay, first things first, I'm going to clean off the bit. Keep the leather out of the way. I like to use warm water. Helps everything get off a little easier. Pop it off. Then I'm gonna hang up the bridle so I can see everything. It's not tangled up. You can use a sponge or a towel. I prefer a terry cloth towel myself just because the, uh, the texture of the fabric helps get the dirt off of the leather better. I think um, if you do use a sponge, you should have two sponges, one for soap and conditioner and one for water. Don't get the soap sponge wet. Uh, you don't want sudsy uh, soap on the leather. It's not good for the leather. So I'm gonna use a little warm water on my towel since I prefer the towel. And the first thing you want to do is get all the dirt off of the leather. Daily cleaning, you don't necessarily have to take the whole bridle, the whole saddle apart. Daily cleaning, just make sure you get all the dirt off. The rubber reins for sure, make sure you get the dirt off. Some people neglect the reins and they just get built up. And they do get quite dirty, so make sure to get all the dirt off of your reins. Pay attention to these little areas here that sometimes get missed and then it just gets built up and kind of gross. You can use your fingernail if you need to to try to really get it off. Make sure as you're going you're checking that the dirt is coming off. This is like one of the most important things of the tag cleaning process is first removing all the dirt. Kind of get in between the crown and that nose band, get the brow band. I'm gonna re-wet my towel and get some of that dirt that I took off off. And you don't wanna get the leather soaking wet. You just wanna get it wet enough to take that dirt off. Pay attention to the areas that really sit against the horse. The corners of the bridle, the nose band, the inside pieces of the cheek pieces, all of those areas. So as I'm doing this, I'm kind of inspecting and making sure I'm doing a good job. There's no point in doing it if you're not gonna do a good job, in my opinion. take the keepers down and get under the keepers. Don't forget the band of the nose band here. Okay. Okay. Now I've got the bridle clean. No dirt left on the leather or the reins. My next step, I'm going to take some Lexol conditioner and some Belvoir glycerin soap. And I'm going to take the conditioner and I'm going to put it on the soap. Remember that your conditioner and soap sponge does not wet. This is not wet. And I rub the conditioner on the glycerin. And I'm going to wipe the tack down with this. Not getting soapy and sudsy. It's just now conditioning the leather. And occasionally you're going to want to take your bridle apart and really clean into the grooves of the buckles. You know, before a horse show, when you're at a horse show, you got extra time at a horse show, and shine up those buckles. We use Mother's aluminum polish and brass polish for all of our buckles. It really does a good job, and it should be done every now and then. Even the rings of your bit can be done with that. Makes it really shiny. It does make a difference when you're in the ring, I think. 
when you're taking your horse to the ring, having everything polished and shined up, shows that you take pride in caring for your horse and your equipment. So once I get all the leather wiped with this glycerin and Lexol mix, I'm gonna tie the bridle up. Now notice I did not use this on the rubber. If you have rubber reins, do not put glycerin soap on your rubber reins. It will disintegrate the rubber, it'll make them forever sticky, and you either have to get the rubber replaced or throw them away. So just keep these just water. Um, if they're really, really dirty, you could use a little light detergent with water on the rubber, but do not put glycerin on the rubber reins. Okay. Time to tie it up to make everything look nice and tidy in the tack room. So here at John Man Sales, we take our nose band. This happens to be a crank nose band, but I'm just gonna put this around and buckle it, put it in the keeper just to make it look tidy. Just once, I'm not gonna wrap it around 100 times, just once is fine. The throat latch I'm gonna take and bring around the front of the bridle, and I'm gonna go in between the reins, because this, I'll show you what happens then. I'm going to put this up and buckle it and just in the keeper there makes like a we call it a figure eight in front of the bridle now what happens is now I put that rubber this through the rubber rein I'm going to let the rein go and it keeps it nice and tidy just like that nice clean bridle and hang it tidy next to all of our other clean deck. For our saddles, we prefer to use Voltaire's product on our Voltaire saddles. Here, we have the Hercules Glycerin Soap, and we use this to clean. And we have the Leather Balsam. And this is a little bit of a, more of a conditioner. And we use this when we first get the saddles to help us break them in and it softens up the leather. And we use this to keep the leather nice and soft and conditioned. And that wraps it up today for tack cleaning. If you like this video and want to see more from John Madden Sales, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.